Okay, what we have here is a U.S. Navy amphibious ready group, the complete group in one 350th scale. And what we're looking at is one WASP class LHD, that's the Iwo Jima, USS Iwo Jima, LHD-7. Next to it over here you have the USS New York, which is an LPD, San Antonio class LPD. And then over there on the other side you have the USS Harper's Ferry, which is an LSD, LSD-49. That's the heart and soul of an amphibious ready group. The uh, larger vessel, which looks like a small carrier and in fact can be outfitted to carry, as you see these AV-8B Harrier 2s on the back, those will soon be replaced by F-35Bs and that class of ship can be outfitted to be an escort carrier carrying 20 of those uh, aircraft if need be. But its main purpose, of course, is to carry troops and get them to shore, both, as you can see, with the Osprey aircraft and the various types of helicopters. All of these vessels, if you look at the back of them, they all have well decks and carry landing craft air cushions or landing craft utility vessels. To carry the troops ashore. A uh, WASP class can carry 2,000 Marines and all their equipment. A San Antonio class here can carry 700 troops and all their equipment. And the Harpers Ferry LSD or Whidbey Island classes can carry 500 troops. So you've got over 3,200 U.S. Marines with their tanks and assault uh, vehicles and jeeps and howitzers and all of their equipment are carried uh, aboard the amphibious ready group. Now the amphibious ready group in turn needs protection. As you can see I've got a couple of the new littoral class ships that I have uparmed the way we hope they plan to. I have in addition to their normal weaponry I have put uh, vertical launch system of 16 cells actually on the front end of each of these vessels which would allow them to carry long-range anti-surface missiles and particularly Sea Sparrow miss missiles for um, whoops for anti-aircraft uh, fighting. Let's just put that guy back on his stand. And so there are two of those frigates. This one has been outfitted for anti-mine control with uh, mine hunting sea dragon there. Uh, they also will uh, carry out anti-submarine warfare operations. Up towards the front you've got the heavier end defense for the group. We've got two Aegis class destroyers. One a Flight 1, that's a Dragon model. And one here is a Flight 2A, which as you can see carries two helicopters for search and rescue, anti-submarine warfare, uh, or actually anti-surface warfare. But it's, these, these ships' main uh, claim to fame are the large vertical launch cells that they carry, uh, which... Uh, carry standard and long-range missiles. And there's two of them as you can see for the air defense of the entire group. Now each of these ships also carries as you can see on them various types of C-RAM, RAM and Phalanx self-defense for any leaker missiles that might get through. Also they usually will have a Ticonderoga cruiser with them which carries 128 missiles and uh, is outfitted for taking care of the uh, defense of this group. You'll also see a 
nuclear submarine. In this case, it's a Los Angeles class. That's the USS uh, Boise. And uh, it's there to make sure enemy submarines are kept at long reach, let's say. These models, uh, the uh, Harper's Ferry is an orange hobby. The other two large models are made by Gallery. As I said, I have one Dragon model Aegis Destroyer and a Trumpeter Aegis Destroyer. One Trumpeter Independence Class LCS and one Bronco models LCS. This orange hobby ship is a really nice ship. But anyway, there you have it. That's uh, the entire class. One thing I do want to show real quick here for the uh, um, LHD is the fact that I've got, you can see the hangar deck as well as the um, well deck. It's all lit up. There you see there's an LCU back there as well as the vehicle deck back at the back. You can see some tanks and whatnot. And of course the LC AC. So hope you've enjoyed it. That's my 1,350th scale amphibious ready group for the U.S. Navy. Thank you.